Hey guys, I just wanted to add uh, part two to this video here, RC uh, 600 iPad MIDI settings, uh, the free OSC iPad file. So what I want to do is explain how to get this uh, OSC file that I created uh, that we talk about in this video to your iPad without going through the iMac and, and doing the touch OSC editor. So what you want to do, the first thing you got to make sure that you do is you want to go on your iPad, go to the App Store, and we're going to we're going to type in touch OSC. All right, and what's going to come up? There's going to be two of them. Here's one that's for $12.99 and here's a free one over here, Touch OSC Mark 1. Now that's the one that you want to put on your iPad. So go ahead and download that, get that on your iPad, and then from there what you're going to do is we're going to go back to the video and I'll put these these new links down below in this description. Um, you want to go to where it says right up here it says download this file which is for the OSC iPad design layout alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this it says uh, Google Drive I'm gonna click on that and that's gonna bring up the file that you want to download to your iPad that yeah, we're just gonna hit this download button here Alright, down here it says Boss RC-100 uh, Touch OSC. We're going to download that. And it's going to say Open In. So when you click in Open In, alright, you're going to go to Save to Files. And when you do this, on my iPad, and notice it says Touch OSC. So I'm going to go ahead and select Touch OSC and then I'm going to click add so what it's going to do is it's I've already have this on my on my iPad it's going to install it into your iPad right into touch OSC so now when you go back here and you open up touch OSC the screens going to come up like this this isn't going to be in here this is what you're going to see touch OSC and you're going to go to the layout tab here and you can see all these different layouts in here. And what you're going to do is you're going to upload, load the one that you just put in here. So Boss RC600, I'm going to click on that. And when I hit done, there it is. So all the MIDI's been set up in here. If you follow the last video that shows you how to assign each one of these MIDI's to the Boss RC600, this will work. So all you have to do is have a, a camera adapter. Look at my videos one through four. It talks about the camera adapter and how to hook it up to the Bar, uh, Boss RC600. So hopefully that's an easier way for you to get this design in there and you can get this going right now until you learn how to edit and make changes to this however you want to do it. This has been working for me for a couple years now and I like this setup. I may make a couple changes. Uh, I do have two MIDI tracks available uh, that I didn't program into here. I think it was uh, 9 and 10 and so I could add something or change something but for right now this is working great. So I hope this helps you. Um, Again, if you want more details, watch videos one through four that tells you how to program all this. And the memory to uh, the memory select on here is um, on video four. Okay, so just uh, there you go. Have a great day. Hope that helps.